Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code by weekly contest 109, a medium level problem, but um, I can understand there is a tricky case because of which uh, most of the solutions are failing. I'll let you know that, okay? Uh, you can just see the accuracy is very low. Okay, so first let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the problem name is visit array positions to maximize the score. So you are given a zero indexed integer array nums and a positive integer x, okay? You are initially positioned at 0th index, okay? And you can visit other positions according to the following rules. What are those rules? If you are currently in position i, then you can move to any position j such that i is less than j. That means if you are at index i, you can move to any index on its right hand side, okay? For each position i that you visit, you get a score of nums of i, right? Any position you go, basically whatever is the number there, your score increments by that value, okay? If you move from a position i to a position j and the parities of nums of i and nums of j differ, then you, you then you lose a score of x, right? x is also given. That means if you are standing, uh, suppose at, an, at a position where the number is even, okay? And you are moving to a number which is odd, that means the parity changes. It could be other way around as well. You are standing at odd position and you move to an even position. So what happens? You lose x right you lose x if you are moving from even to even x is not lost not lost right you see similarly if you are moving from odd to odd x is not lost it's just that when the parity changes you move you lose x right so return the maximum total score you can get note that initially you have nums of zero points right that means right at the first position that means when 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 this thing starts you are standing at this position right see in simple terms and also one point to note our goal is not to reach the last index our goal is to get the maximum score right so that is what the problem is asking us to do some rules we have to start from position zero and we have to keep moving right it's not necessary to move right it's just that i have to get the maximum score right but i start with this score right so let's see how to approach this problem right so suppose I'm standing at this index i, right? I'll, I'll take this example, okay? I'm standing at this index i. So initially I'm standing at 0th position, right? What are the two options that I can have at this position? So this is something I'm bound to do, standing at 0th position. So just see what what's the score here, right? Now if if this is a this is an even number, right? If this is, suppose this is an even number, right? And you jump to another index, which is also even, right? Which is also even. So that means all you do is your score increases, your score increases, right? Suppose this is index i, this is index j. So let's consider the, what's the maximum score you can get if you come here, right? If you include this, right? So what, what are the options? If this is even, right? If this is even, then if I come, suppose there is an intermediate index also, let's call it k, okay? Let's call it k. So if I am coming at an even index, I'm, I'm just considering the answer for j, okay? So if I'm coming at j and if, and if I'm coming from an even number, then I just add nums of i, simple. I just add nums of, uh, sorry, nums of j. I just add nums of j. However, if this k from where I'm coming, if this was odd, then what I'll do? I'll add nums of j, but I'll also subtract x, right? I'll also subtract x. This is what I need to do, right? So at every particular point of time, so suppose there are n elements in the array, at every particular point of time, I'll just see that what happens, like till this particular point of time, what are the maximum values which I can obtain? What are the values? Suppose I consider that the last value that I've taken was an even number or the last value that I took was an odd number, right? Simple. These are the two things I need to uh, keep a track of that whatever was the last value I considered, what's the maximum score I can get if that was an even number and if that was an odd number. Why this is helpful? Just see why this is helpful in these type of problem. This is one of the best ways to do because you just see the constraint. It's 10 raised to power 5, right? So you need a linear time solution, right? Or something related to n log n, right? Sorting will not work here. That means you need a linear solution, right? So if I'm standing here, okay, and suppose this is an even index. So what is the maximum score I can get, right? What is the maximum score I can get at this position? Simple. If you are coming from an even position, right? So you are keeping a track of what is the maximum score you got 
if you ended in an even number right if the last number that you took was an even number so whatever was that variable holding that plus nums of j right what's the other option what is the maximum value you got you got if you considered the last value as an even number right oh, sorry odd number right what was the what what's the maximum value that you have received if the last number that you uh, basically considered was an odd number right so if if i make a jump from an odd to even what happens plus nums of j yes that's common between these two steps but minus x is also there right so that means the maximum value that i can get that i can get if i include this index also is is maximum of these two which two if you make a jump from an even number to this index and if you make a jump from odd number to this index these are the only two possibilities right now how i keep a track of even and odd by just taking a couple of variables right let me just show you the code and we'll do a dry run as well right so just see this is the answer this is even and this is odd end that means what is the maximum score you have seen till now if the last number that you considered was an even number so even end and what's the maximum score that you can get if the last number that you considered that means till now till now if you are standing at the jth index till here what is the maximum score that you can obtain if you considered the last number as an odd odd number right so just see this is the number of elements i have now forget about these things okay forget about these things i'll come to this because this is a this is an edge case okay let's start from here right suppose i had some initial score i had some initial score and again i was at index 0 right so now what happens this is the current number uh, by the way you can just remove this line by mistake i added it okay if the current number is even if the current number is even then what are the options i can come to this index from an even number or from an odd number now right now this is an even number right this is an even number so which variable will be updated even end because even end tells me that what's the maximum score you can get if your last number that means the last number you included in your answer was an even number now which number am i including in my answer this number ith number right so that means even end will be updated because this is the last number and this is an even number so this variable will be updated now what will be the value it will be maximum of the previous even end that means whatever was the last even number you took whatever was the score maximum score you got when the last even number you took plus nums of i because you have to include its score because you are coming to ith index comma what was the la what was the score when you included the last odd number minus x plus nums of i right just see this is an extra thing that we add here right so these are the only two options if you jump from an odd to ith index if you jump from even to ith index right if you jump from even it's even end plus nums of i if it's odd then odd minus x plus nums of i similar is the case just see if this is not an even number then it's an odd number now if it's an odd number and i want to include it that means odd end will update it will get updated remember you can take an array also to make these things simple right but we have we have just taken a couple of variables right because that is sufficient right now if you want to update odd end just see it's math dot max odd end plus nums of i that means if you are if this current number is an odd number and you are jumping from an odd number what happens you just need to add nums of i however if the current number is an odd number and you are jumping from an even number so it's even minus x plus nums of i simple now you calculate nums even and an odd end and you just keep on taking the maximum of these values right because our aim is not to reach the last index rather our aim is to get the maximum score so answer equals to math dot max of even and an odd end return answer a very simple code right how we came up with this intuition simple if i consider a particular index then there are only two options i can e come to this index from an even number or an odd number right simple i just see if this is even and i am coming from even i add nums of i if this is even i am coming from odd i add nums of i minus x and similarly is the case for odd right this is how you get the intuition for this problem now you remember i said leave this thing this is the tricky case i was talking about what the tricky case it says that you are standing at 0th index right now if my current number is 0 right this is how i have tackled it there could be multiple ways to solve it if the current number is 0 that means what's the score ending at even it's it's nums of 0 right it's nums of 0 also also 
also what happens what happens just consider the other case if this is even yes even end plus nums of zero if it is odd it's odd end plus nums of zero right now comes the question why i have added this line right why i have added this line now i've added this line that is because just to compensate for this part right it says that i have to include nums of zero right i have to include nums of zero now if the current number right if the current number is an even number if the current number is an even number then what will be my score yes i will add nums of zero but again this variable is taking care that what was the maximum score you got obviously since you are starting but what is the maximum score that you got when the last number you considered was an odd number you are jumping from an odd number to an even number that's why i have subtracted minus x this is one of the ways to handle this equation right mm -hmm. similarly if the first number is an odd number right if the first number is an odd number that means if i want to find the maximum value ending at even right so that will be nums of 0 minus x why because the current number is odd i want to know the answer for even right so basically it will be nums of 0 minus x because it's a different parity right the current number is odd but i'm uh, i'm considering the answer for even right so this is the only tricky case i was talking about and um, yeah you just need to take care of this second part right this thing i was talking about let me just erase it this was the only thing this line and this line and then we'll be done right uh, so yeah this is how you solve these type of problem um, i exactly don't remember what are the other similar problems I, like i don't remember the name uh, but yeah we, we, we can just do a, a search for some similar problems and it will be easy right or i'll just add that into the comment section if i do remember any problem right let's do a dry run for this problem so it is two three six one nine two right x equals to five so just see what happens even odd right the first number is even so this is two first number is odd it is two minus x that is five two minus five that is uh, minus three right so even end is two odd end is three now i come to this number remember i keep on updating my answer it will be max of two and minus three so answer is two i come here now i want to include it since I want to include this number and this is an odd number, what are the options? Either I can jump from an even number. Now, if I come from an even number, what happens? It will be, what's the value of even till now? It's two. I add this minus five. This becomes zero. What about even? It was minus three plus three. So zero. Getting it? So this is what I do. So even will be updated. Even will be two only right just see what was even if i just shrink it just see even was this only math dot max of even plus nums of i right so even will be this sorry this was an odd number my bad my bad i'll update the odd end right i'll update the odd end this is odd so odd will be updated let's remove it odd will be updated so odd will be whatever was the odd value that is minus three right plus 3 it becomes so this becomes 0 and what's the second value if you are coming from even so it becomes 2 plus 3 minus 5 that is again 0 I, I, I wrote the same thing right so this is what we'll, what we'll do right so odd end the new value of odd end becomes 0 so it's 2 comma 0 getting it so this will remain as 2 then you move here you move to 6 right what are the options you can come from here or you can come from here so we'll do the, we'll do the exactly same thing so what happens if i uh, not here here basically from an even number and an odd number so the let's write the current values of even and odds even odd even is two odd is zero right i come to six so if i'm coming to six the current number is even what will be updated even end will be updated so whatever is the value of even plus six comma what's the value of odd it's zero plus six minus five that is one right what's the max of these two it is eight and this is one so obviously this will be eight even will be updated to eight this becomes eight and my answer also updates to eight right then i move to one right then i move to one what are the options you can come from even or odd now this is an odd number so odd will be updated right 
how odd will be updated odd will be if you are coming from an odd number so this will be 0 plus 1 coming from an even number so it's 8 plus 1 minus 5 that is 4 so this guy becomes 4 right and your answer remains as 8 right now you move to 9 now this is again an odd number what are the options odd plus 9 right comma what's the e what's the value of even that is 8 plus 9 minus 5 right so this this is basically 12 this is 13 getting it so this guy becomes 13 and your answer also updates to 13 then you move to 2 now what happens this is an even number so it will be even plus 2 comma what's the value of odd 13 plus 2 minus 5 right this becomes 10 this becomes 10 nothing is updated your answer remains as 30 right this is how you solve this problem right so yes that's it for this solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case you have any issues related to the solution let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye, -bye.